Greetings and welcome to another series of weekly devotionals where we take a look at one of the readings in the lectionary for this upcoming uh, Sunday and offer some thoughts for reflection. And this uh, coming Sunday is uh, Trinity Sunday. We celebrate the concept or the doctrine of the Holy Trinity. And we're going to focus on a passage, a short passage in Paul's letter to the Romans, uh, chapter 5, which deals with uh, Paul's challenge uh, in trying to bring people together. It's all about relationships. I remember a, a friend of mine who happens to be a pastor told me a story about when he was a kid. When he was a kid in his family, uh, they didn't really go to church. They weren't very religious. But he was interested in church, and so he ended up consequently going to a bunch of different churches, a Lutheran church and a fundamentalist evangelical church and, and a Catholic church. And uh, he, he, he didn't really have one consistent uh, a church that he went to. And he, he remembers when he was probably like in elementary school, a neighborhood kid uh, asked, uh, wanted to be his friend and said, what, what church do you go to? And uh, my pastor friend said, well, you know, I don't really go to, to one. Uh, he asked him, what religion are you? And he said, well, I don't really know what religion I am because I go to a bunch of different churches and I don't have just one religion. And the, the kid said to him, well, uh, you're not Catholic, are you? And my friend said, I, I don't think so. And then the kid said, well, that's good because um, now I can be your friend. <laughs> It reminds me of how our, our culture sometimes dictates to us the people we're supposed to like and the w people we're supposed to hate, the people we're supposed to agree with or disagree with without even knowing uh, people. And the story of the Hatfields and McCoys, who uh, families who hated each other for generations, uh, so much so that they probably couldn't even remember what the reason was that they were supposed to hate each other in the first place. They just knew they were supposed to, to loathe each other. And that was the case for the uh, folks uh, for whom Paul was writing his letter, the Jews and the Gentiles in this fledgling uh, Jesus community. As one commentary that I read said, uh, these two loathed each other basically because of the circumstances of the society in which they lived. They were sort of, it's just the way things were. Jews and Gentiles didn't like each other very much and without even really getting to know each other. And you know, of course, that kind of thing still happens today. The challenge that Paul faced back then is the challenge we all face. Uh, so many folks in our society have what could be considered a tribal mentality. You know, people like us are us and people like them are them and we want to keep those people separated and sometimes we maybe have grudges with people we can't even remember why we don't like them anymore we sometimes society tells us we're supposed to hate these people or disagree with these people just because and we often build up walls and barriers between ourselves and others and uh, and so as Paul strove to to break down those barriers between groups of people, we might perhaps today think about what are, what are the walls that we, uh, we build up between ourselves and others? What do we gain from building those barriers and what might we gain from tearing them down? Amen.